course, Game Development Basics, Week 1, Lesson 3, Navigating Unreal Engine. The objectives for this lesson are to describe the Unreal Engine template projects. We're going to start a new project in Unreal Engine, and then we'll describe some basic navigation within Unreal Engine. Here I am back in the Epic Launcher, and I'm going to launch Unreal Engine 5.0.3. And after that opens, we can go to the Games tab, and we can see some of the templates here. First person, third person, top down, vehicle, AR, and VR templates. If you haven't already, I do recommend that you create at least one project of each of these just to check it out. There is some good functionality that you can borrow from other games if you are creating a game with one of these genres. We're going to start with a blank project though. And on the right, we have some options. We're going to select Blueprint, desktop, maximum. We are going to put the starter content in this project and then leave off ray tracing. Along the bottom, we can select a path where we want this new project to go. And then we can name our project. I'm going to call this navigation tutorial. Select create and it will create our new project for us. And after the project opens, we'll see a basic scene viewer in the middle here with a few chairs and a table. This is referred to as the viewport. Now my setup might look a little bit different than yours just because I have it configured for the way I like to build things. You can get any of these windows to open by going to window and then finding the window that you want. For instance, this place actors window is here place actors so we can select that on or off. And we're going to explain a lot of this functionality as we go through the course. For now though, I just want to point out a couple things. Along the bottom, I have a content browser. This allows me to browse through all the assets in my project. We have an outliner, which allows me to browse through all of the assets in my current level. We have the world settings, which give me some settings for that level. And then we have a details panel, which when we select an actor in a scene, it gives us the ability to look at some of the details of that actor. Now, I don't want to go too in depth for this lesson. Uh, so that was just some basic navigation. As I said, we're going to do a lot more navigation through Unreal Engine as the course goes on though.